Hi, so in this video we are going to apply the concept of algebra to solve money related problems. Now let us look at the problem statement. Sahil has three times as many two rupee coins as he has five rupee coins. If he has a total of 77 rupees, how many coins of each denomination does he have? Now, when you see a lot of numbers like this and you want to know what is the unknown, look at what is being asked. So in this case, the problem asks us how many coins of each denomination does he have? So what denominations are being talked about in this statement? It is the number of two rupee coins and the five rupee coins. How much of these he has? So, uh, but again, we have two unknowns over here. But at the same time, we also have the relationship between those two unknowns. We know that the two rupee coins are thrice in number as compared to the five rupee coins. So we can say that number of number of five rupee coins five rupee coins equals x and therefore the number of two rupee coins two rupee coins that will be three times x three times the number of five rupee coins now it says if he has a total of 77 rupees how many coins of each denomination does he have? Now that is the next important step. We just don't have to add these two together because we have some amount which is contributed by the number of 5 rupee coins that is x and the amount that is contributed by the number of 2 rupee coins. So from, from 5 rupee coins 5 rupee coins how much amount he will have that will be equal to 5 times x or 5x right where x is the number of coins so that is the amount that he has from 5 rupee coins similarly from 2 rupee coins how much amount he has from 2 rupee coins the amount that he has equals 3x so it will be 2 multiplied by the number of 2 rupee coins. So 2 times 3x or that comes out to be 6x. Right? Now we can proceed to form an algebraic equation because we are given that the total amount, that is the total amount of these two numbers, the money he has from 5 rupees and 2 rupees coins is 77. So we can say that 5x plus 6x when we add up the money amount from two, 5 rupees and 2 rupee coins that comes out to be 77 and if we simplify this we get 11x equals 77 now this is our equation and let us solve this so uh, yes I have solved this for you here so we have 11x equals 77 and we then go ahead and divide both the sides by 11 so the 11 gets cancelled and we have x equals 77 by 11 which gives us x equals 7 and therefore this is the number of 5 rupee coins that we have and then the number of 2 rupee coins is 3 times x or 3 times 7 therefore we have 21 2 rupee coins and this is how it is solved now let us check if the solution that we have got is correct. So I have done a little bit of it here. Uh, so we have the number of the, the amount, the rupees that he has from two rupee coins is equal to 21. The number of two rupee coins multiplied by two, which gives us 42. And from the amount that he has from five rupees is 7 multiplied by 5 this is the number of 5 rupee coins so 7 5 is a 35 and when we add this together we get a total of 77 so we know that the the amount that we have got that is the number of 2 rupee coins and the number of 5 rupee coins is correct 
So see you in next video where we explore the applications of algebra further.